日本の書物は大変こう金を使うのが好きというかよく使っていましてその金のこう金,は金,は金箔といいますけれどもその薄くしたシートですねそれをさまざまな形にカットしてこう下にこう糊を塗っといた上からこう散らしてでこう定着させたりあるいはその金泥といいますけどもゴールドのまあ絵の具のようなものを作ってこう線を引いたりというような形で使われています。でまたこの絵の具ですけどもこれらは鉱物系のこう金属ですとか石から作られた絵の具を使っていますので比較的その変色に強いというような特徴があります。It's very clear that, that some of these pictures are related to one of the most famous court romances, literary court romances of the Heian period, the Ise Monogatari, or it's translated as the Ise stories or the tales of Ise. We can see Uh, right away, looking at these two, on the left is uh, the Sagabon version from uh, 1608, and on the right is the, the uh, UBC version. What's interesting about our version is how it differs. Um, there are no birds. Uh, and whereas in the Sagabon, the hero is looking kind of to the left, which is also where the birds are, uh, in the UBC version, he's looking to the right, maybe to the shore. And uh, his, one of his companions is, is looking off in the other direction. Also, in the Saga version, um, we can recognize uh, the protagonist's uh, young sword bearer, his page. Uh, there, uh, the young man not wearing a hat. And then also what looks like a, a priestly figure, actually a bishop, and that uh, was someone traditionally identified as Archbishop Henjo, which it was believed he met in a previous episode. Um, so the personages are different too. Uh, and what our version gives us is more just Narihira and his companions. So it's those kind of different iconographic choices, even when they're using the same model, that become a point of interest and, and potential research. Why did the artist do it this way? Was this something from the artist's side or something the patron who obviously commissioned, there had to be someone to commission an expensive work like this, uh, wanted? So that's what this work gives us an opportunity to consider.